Hey there, it's Robert with BudBells.com, and for today's warm up, you're just going to do a uh, scorpion progression. It's a stretch uh, joint mobility um, extension drill. So, let's move the bells out of the way. And start on your stomach, arms out. You're going to keep your hands where they are, and you're going to look at your hand and try to touch your um, hand with your foot, opposite foot. Right. Um, this um, could be a problem for women, so you want to come up just a little higher uh, for women, and it makes it a little more comfortable, a little more doable. So maybe bend your hand, maybe bend your arms a little more, maybe brace up a little higher, and then get the extension. Okay. So the next part is you're going to put your hands underneath you, and instead of just touching your hand, you're going to actually roll all the way over to the side and come up into this. Um, this position, like this, where both legs are bent. Roll back down with your hands um, like this. <clears throat> to the other side. Get a little twist. I learned this from guys on uh, mymadmethods.com. All right, so give them uh, some props doing this. this. is a pretty cool progression. So here, you're gonna get a little twist. Back down. And I just let myself go. I just, if you just let yourself roll, you won't get that uh, abrasive you know, clunk clunk on the floor. Huh. Back and forth. The next uh, portion of the, of the progression is up to a, a hip bridge or a bridge. Here. And whatever hand, I find whatever hand feels comfortable, I just leave on the ground. Boom, you can do either side. I've done both. <coughs> All right, and then you can go, you can stand all the way up from there if you like. This is the part that we're gonna work on in class, just up to here, we're not gonna do a deck squat just yet. So I'm leaving it at that. The workout is 20 minutes, as many rounds as you can, as many quality uh, rounds as you can. You need two bells. The first one is a double walking swing, and you're gonna swing the bells on the outside of your body. So we work in a, 30 foot uh, space, so that's how far you're going to walk, 30 feet. Okay, walking swings, using your hips to drive the weight, never using your, your back to lift the weight. Then you can do a pistol, uh, one pistol on each side, I'm just going to do one. <clears throat> And you're going to do a seesaw press, 30 feet. Okay, so every step is a press. You're working like a seesaw. So you're going to step and press. Okay? Uh, the next one is a hollow rock. 10 hollow rocks. <clears throat> Get this hollow out, hollowed out position. And rock. Then you're going to do one legged with the two bells, one legged deadlifts, five on each side. This is the same groove as a deadlift or a swing. So you want to um, keep your shin per uh, perpendicular to the floor, uh, your knee right over your ankle, push your hip way back to load up your your hamstrings and your glutes, and I'm not lifting with my back, just like a swing. I don't swing it back and then try to lift it with my back, or a deadlift. I don't try to crank it up with my back. I drive my feet into the ground. So when you're coming back up, you literally push your foot into the deck, push right through the floor. Um, five on each side, and then uh, some pull-up practice. Like I said, uh, we've been doing a lot of practicing with pull-ups. If you can already do pull-ups, challenge yourself. Try to get a little higher, um, do it with a weight hanging from your foot or from a weight belt, uh, something like this to challenge your uh, pull-ups. Maybe hold a heavy pull-up at the top, stuff like that, okay? If you can't do pull-ups and you're still working on pull-ups, 
do the progression of pull-ups, shoulder packing, uh, leg raising, stuff like that to get better at your pull-ups, assisted pull-ups from a, from a partner, all right? So there's your workout, as many rounds, as quality rounds as you can squeak in to 20 minutes. There's your workout, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.